السلام علیکم و رحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ So I'll uh, we will listen to the recitation first for our 15 first Ramad, about Ramadan okay start i will do for two word translation first of aya number 115 walillahi wa an lillahi is only for allah al mashriku the east wal maghribu wa an al maghribu the west fa aynama so wherever to walu you all turn fa samma then is there wajhu face allahi of allah انا انديد الله الله واسع ون هو از اول امبريسنج عليم از ون اولويز اول نوئنگ رائٹ سو ناو ويل دو دا رننگ ٹرانسليشن تو الله بلونگز دا ايست اند دا ويست وچ ايور ڈائريكشن يو ٹرن يور فيس ذير از دا پريزنس اوف الله شورلي الله از اول امبريسنگ اول نوئنگ اوكي سو ناو ويل دو دا تفسير اوف ذس اوكي Yeah, it is said Mashriq. You see, Mashriq, Mashriq is the place where Shuruq is done. Okay, and Maghrib, Mashriq means what? East and Maghrib means west, right? And Maghrib is the place where Ghurub is done. Uh, the uh, root word for Ghurub is Gain Ra Ba. Okay, for Maghrib the root word is Gain Ra Ba, and for Mashriq the root word is, word is Shin Ra Kaf, right? So Shuruq is rise, rising of the sun. What is Shuruq? rising of the sun on the appearance and the appearance of the uh, of the moon rising of the stars okay mashriq is the place of rising like you know say uh, the word similar to mashriq is masjid masjid mashriq sound the same right so they do so okay in masjid is the place of sujood prostration right so mashriq place of shuru so maghrib is where is the place of ghurub uh as, as a, where sun sets okay what is guru where the sun sets and moon so moon also appears and disappears at night stars also appears and disappears so there is a rising point and setting point of all these bodies in the skies do you believe in this everybody knows okay so yes. so we, yes so we see walillahi al mashriqu wal maghrib maghrib we are so happy we can you hear you yaad with, with us <laughs> thank you thank you only uh, Oh, only physically you are not here but you are with us with you know with your mind with your soul with your aqida with your iman every east and every west okay walillahi al mashriqu wal maghrib every east and every west belongs to allah okay 
so you standing in one way your east is on is in one direction right your west is in other direction but if you standing another direction then your east and west is opposite right you know this everybody okay walillahi al mashriqu wal maghribu so every east and every west to allah belongs the everything because the entire earth belongs to allah okay now see the aya uh, fa aina ma tuwallu you see the aya fa aina ma tuwallu fa thamma wajullah okay so now we'll do do from here fa aina ma tuwallu so so every every east and west everything belongs to allah so the, the entire earth belongs to allah fa aina ma tuwallu so wherever you turn any direction your face fa thamma notice it is fa thamma is not summa right there is no dhamma on sa what is this is uh, fathamma okay uh, is called isme ishara so uh, these are all directions zalika that haza this ulaika okay what is this these are all the isme ishara the direction isme ishara the direction okay fathamma tawallu wherever you turn wajh wajhulla what what will happen wajhulla wherever you turns face of allah means allah allah's knowledge what does face of allah means Wa, means allah's, allah's knowledge allah's no allah's knowledge in, uh, includes everything any place any direction east or west uh, wherever you go to uh, to allah knows about that right okay he governs over he decides over when it comes to the east and west he he decides to reign he decides uh, the snow to be fall so the law and rule of allah are not limited whether it is makkah or madina but it it en- encompasses every single place everybody knows that right allah encompasses every single place uh, okay saima ji wa alaikum assalam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh fasamma wajulla secondly scholars have said fasamma wajulla mean allah is before you any place direction you face Allah is in front of you when you worship Allah, right? Okay. There is a hadith. Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala says that Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala is in front or of before of a person praying. Where is Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala when you praying? When you offering your salah? Allah is in front or in front, okay, or before you. So we do we do not limit Allah to one place or we do not go into details because Allah is not limited to physical limitation, right? Like we are. we are limited to physical limitation like and it is incorrect starting describing allah so, okay so allah is here or allah is there it is not correct we shouldn't describe that but allah is everywhere with his knowledge when we say allah is everywhere what does that mean that allah is everywhere allah's knowledge yeah allah's knowledge actually he is on the seven heavens on his throne but he is everywhere wa bi aba his knowledge yeah but we learn in hadith allah is in front of a person who prays to him right what is the purpose an objective what what we learn told here any place we have been east or west okay uh, who governs who, whose law is there allah's law when you pray you face north east the qibla is always where at the north in north, north east where is the qibla north east always if you you know go to the pro muslim or any you know uh, you know like pro muslim or any 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 app that you have qibla direction there so the qibla direction in, they will show where north east east and west are for allah so wherever you are uh, finland iceland canada usa you have to obey allah right uh, wherever where are wherever you worship allah is always there we are to obey allah because land belongs to allah in allah wasiun alim allah allah is all embracing all knowing in uh, now in flight what happened now it means wherever you are in mashriq maghrib finland iceland every when you were north south allah is everywhere it means you have to obey allah everywhere you have to obey and what happens you know i have seen in in flight or in you know when you are in the in the flight you are traveling somewhere <laughs> you will see that you know some ladies they you know enter the flight with the hijab and scarf and everything okay uh, in front of parents or in front of the family and you know when they you know embark the flight what they do they take out their hijab and everything i've seen the ladies 
and in school also you know in school you know some children some girls from home to show the parents they cover their face and hijab and everything and when they go to school or you know with the friends there will be no hijab i have seen so where but it, you know what they should fear allah because allah is watching you everywhere you know to whom you have to show you have you make you want to please allah you should always please allah not your parents or anybody else okay you have to please allah when you please allah you will get what janna okay so we are not worshiping people we have to worship allah if we worship people we will pray in front of people and if we worship allah we will pray behind them uh, uh, okay behind the people also even if they are not there even the mom is not watching father is not watching okay in allah wasiun alim he is all embracing and all knowing allah knows everything you know what you are doing privately what you are doing in public what we are doing the in front of parents our friends in front of dunya right so this is clear till ya ayat number 115 okay yes okay walillahi almashriqu walmaghribu fa ayna ma tuwallu fa thamma wajullah inna allaha wasiun alim what does that mean the running translation come on tell me the running translation everybody whichever direction you turn your face there is the presence of allah okay allah uh, uh, okay surely allah is all embracing and all knowing knowing so we do the word to word translation of ayah number 16 okay ayah number 16 wa qalu wa and qalu they said at takhaza he took he took allah allah waladan son child subhanahu his glory proclaim his flawlessness bal rada ne lahu is only for him la means what for who him ma whatever fi is in as samawati the skies heavens the skies heaven you are on the page or i should turn uh, turn the page yeah i have to turn the page okay okay kullun okay fi is in as samawati the skies heavens heights were and al ardi the earth kullun all of them lahu only for him qanitun are ones obedient devotedly constantly so now the running translation of ayah number 116 they say allah has taken to himself a son allah is above such things rather to him belongs all that is in the heavens and in the earth all are obedient to him now the, the tafsir of this inshallah ayah number 116 um now there are uh, sects many sects jews and you know christians and muslims so a sect of you know jews says uh, what they said uzair ibn allah that uzair alayhi salam the prophet uzair alayhi salam is the who is the son of allah they doing they doing shirk what they doing shirk what is shirk shirk is attributing partners with allah subhanahu wa taala okay that other than allah there is someone else we shouldn't say say that so a sect of jews say Uzair ibn Allah the prophet Uzair is the son of Allah nauzubillah astaghfirullah and christians say al masih ibn Allah that Isa alayhi salam is the son of Allah and the mushrikeen of Makkah astaghfirullah and the mushrikeen of Makkah they say Allah had daughters what they say Allah has daughters angels are daughters of Allah okay but rather no he has not any child but he is lahu ma fi samawati wal ard everything in the skies and earth belongs to allah anything in the sky earth uh, uh, earth is allah's property he owns everything allah is, has created allah is the creation khalq of allah your creation cannot be your child can the creation be your child no you this is human weakness we we feel incomplete without children without a spouse right is it correct this is human weakness Allah is perfect he is about these weaknesses we we doesn't okay uh, he doesn't need care and help of anyone we need the care of the you know parents and our children need the care of us but he doesn't need any care any help lahu ma fi samawati wal ard and you know the angel cannot be the child Uh, of uh, allah subhanahu wa taala but the, you know they are just attributing partners with allah subhanahu wa taala by saying that uzair ibn allah 
that Uzair alayhi salam is the son of Allah and you know the children of, of you know Masih they say Masih ibn Allah that Isa alayhi salam is son of Allah and uh, Mushrikeen of Makkah they say that angels are the daughter of Allah so these angels are property of Allah and there is no resemblance between Allah and creation is there any resemblance no creation no. cannot be child of Allah kullu lahu qanitun uh, all of them are obedient to Allah Qan, qanat is the singular from qanut qanut is the plural and qanat qaf alif noon ta is the singular to be obedient what does qanat means to be obedient of someone to be under them to listen to everything they, they say to follow every command and to be constantly obedient it's give the meaning of dawam of continuity what this qanitun gives the meaning to obey the command follow the every command to be constantly obedient uh, and uh, and, it's, and it's give the meaning, meaning of dawam dal waf alif mim dawam means constantly obedient obedi being obedient of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala okay so kullu lahu qanitun everything is obedient to allah but some people don't obey allah uh, but our body is still under the control of allah uh, how uh, how it is so we can't control our death can you control your death no though people are disobedient some of um, some of the people are disobedient they fall they go uh, they don't go according to quran and sunnah but our body is under the control of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala we can't control our death uh, we can't control our sickness uh, we can't our control our tiredness can you control when you are too tired you can never control you just go to sleep or say you don't talk to anybody you say oh just turn the lights off and don't disturb me and i'm closing the room and you know don't come here let me sleep okay so our body is in the control of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala this is amazing okay who and allah who controls uh, our bodies completely so our bodies are obedient to allah subhanahu wa ta'ala okay so people do whatever they like but the clouds the trees the birds the angels everything aqil ghair aqil what is aqil ghair aqil aqil those who have got brain those who have got intellectual and ghair aqil those who are not intellect okay living non living rocks mountains they all are obedient when allah commands it rains okay when allah commands the sun rises when allah wants that uh, you know trees dry when allah wants the trees grow kullu lahu qanitun you know you understand the meaning of kullu lahu qanitun that all the creation of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is obedient and they are constantly obedient you know they are, they obey the commands of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala constantly not once or twice constantly continuously they are obedient they are not like us like mankind when this is the case he doesn't need child does he need child no okay no he doesn't need child now one in, you know very interesting thing i will tell you you know the sun rises from the east everybody knows that and the sun what he does before you know rising he you know prostrate to allah subhanahu wa ta'ala it does sajda and it it asks and he asks the permission of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and allah subhanahu wa ta'ala permits him allah gives the command allah gives it for him permission and then the sun rises from the east and the day will come daily it takes the permission and the day will come the sun will uh, uh, you know like usually uh, in the usual routine routine the sun will prostrate and do, do sajda and ask allah's permission to rise to allow him to rise allah will say now rise from the west the the day the sun will rise from the west it will be the sign of qiyamah and when the signs of qiyamah will come there are many signs right there are the main major signs of qiyamah you have read in that uh, we have done the das on it a great uh, you know in details we have done so on that day when all the you know big big signs of qiyamah will be shown then the repentance the tauba the istighfar will not be accepted so this is the time always repent allah 100 times now you don't if you are busy girls i know some of you working so and you know going to schools also colleges also so in the bus in the train on the way walking if it is a walking distance your school or college you go by car your, your father drops you anyway you can do astaghfirullah astaghfirullah wa atubu ilayh or only astaghfirullah astaghfirullah wa atubu ilayh astaghfirullah rabbi min kulli zambin wa atubu ilayh allahumma aghfir li warhamni wa ahdini wa zukhni wa afani you know these sorts of there are many many istighfar anyone you any any you know you can do that okay
استغفر اللہ الذی لا الہ الا هو الحی القیوم و اتوب الیہ رائے اینی استغفار یو نو یو ڈو دیٹ اینڈ ٹرائی ٹو ڈو اینڈ ناٹ ہنڈریڈ بائی ہنڈریڈ از منیمم ٹرائی ٹو اینڈ اف یو آر یو نو ان یو آر اینی وے یو آر ڈوئنگ استغفار استغفار اٹ کین بی مور دین ہنڈریڈ اوکے سو ناؤ از دا ٹائم ٹو ریپینٹ آف آل دا سنس یو ہیو ڈن ایوری مومنٹ وی ڈو سن وی آر دا سنس وی آر دا گنا گا وی آر سن فل سو ٹرائی ٹو ڈو استفارا دین ادر ذکر آلسو تھرڈ کلما فورتھ کلما لائلا لانتا سبحانہ کا انہیں کو تم نظر والے یو نو آل دا ریمبرنس آف آلہ آل دا اسکار اوکے اوکے سو ہنڈریڈ اینڈ سکسٹین از کلیئر ٹو ایوری بڈی اوکے شوڈ بی موو فردر اوکے موو فردر ان شاء اللہ اوکے ہنڈریڈ اینڈ سیونٹین اوکے یس ہنڈریڈ ہنڈریڈ اینڈ سیونٹین ورڈ ٹو ورڈ ٹرانسلیشن بدیو بدیو اوریجنیٹر کریٹر اسماواتو of the skies, heavens, heights. See the meaning heights. Because skies are on heights, right? They are above. Va and Al Ardi, the earth. Va, Va, can you see? Um, uh, uh, what's your name? Can you see the screen? Okay, yeah. Okay. Va and Iza when Qada he decreed, decided Amran Ameta, fa in nama, so indeed not but Yakulu, he says, the who. To, for it, la means for, who means it, kun, you be, fa yakun, fa means so, yakun, it becomes. Okay, now running translation. He is the creator of the heavens and the earth. When he decrees a thing, he needs only to say be, and there it becomes. Uh, those who have, okay, this is the ayah, now we'll do the tafsi. 100 and, ayah number 170, okay. He is the originator of heavens and the earth. Badi us samavati walad. Badi, this is to, in, what does badi means? To invent, some, invent something, to make something from the very first time. Nothing like it existed before. So he is the originator of the heavens and the earth. Now you understand the meaning of badi? This is to invent something, to make something from the very first time. You understand? Nothing, yes. nothing like it existed before. So he is the originator of the heavens and the earth. So Badi and Bida, Bida, uh, the, uh, Bida is also from this word. Bida means innovation. If you remove the Ya, if you remove the Ya from Badi, it becomes it become Bida. And you add Ha. Okay? Bida is innovation, something there was not in Deen, something Prophet Sassam and uh, Allah didn't command. It's something Prophet Sassam and the companions did not do. The early generation did not do. This is something new and innovation that, that is called Bida. Right? And Badi is to invent something, to make something from the very first time. Nothing like it existed. Right? So what Allah did? Allah has created all the things which never existed. Right? For the first time he created. Subhanallah. La, okay. لَهُ مَا فِي السَّمَاوَاتِ وَلَدِ He is the originator of the skies and the earth. وَإِذَا قَدَى أَمْرًا When he decreed, he decides for a matter. What is أَمْرًا? A matter. And what is قَدَى? He decreed, he decides. قَدَى is to make final judgment. What is قَدَى? Yeah, decision. قَدَى is to make final judgment through an أَمْر. When he decreed a matter, فَإِنَّمَا يَقُولُ Indeed, he only says فَلَهُ Kun fayakun, be. What he says, be. What he says, kun. He says kun, be. And it happens. He only has to say kun and it happens. This is the power and might of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So what we learn from here, the power and might of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And we order people. Um, and what we do? We order people a hundred times. Give me a glass of water. Do this, do that. Like your mother, or mother orders you. <laughs> Still, they will not listen. Okay? Hundred times you keep on saying, saying, saying. If you say your friend also, bring the book tomorrow. I am missing some notes. Okay? She will say, oh, I have forgotten. Sometimes it happens. You know, you have to say people so many times, so many times. They are forgetful. These are our weaknesses, right? But Allah only says, kun, be, and fayakun, and it becomes. Okay? Subhanallah. So this ayah shows us the might and... Uh, Power of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So they said, and now what happened? Now Isa, people of Isa alayhi salam, the nation of Isa alayhi salam, they said Isa was the son of, you know, 
Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, they said because Isa was uh, without father. Because Isa alayhi salam came without father. Okay. Allah said, kun faya kun aniyat. They did not understand the power and might of Allah. They, that's why they say that Isa is the son of Allah. When Allah can create Adam uh, alayhi salam without father and mother, he can, he can create Isa alayhi salam also without father, right? So they didn't realize the might and power of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He only said, kun be fayakun and it be. They said, yeah, kun fayakun. They said because of the lack of understanding of the power of Allah. Why they said so? That Isa lack of understanding. Yeah. Knowledge. Yeah. Lack of, no, lack of knowledge, lack of the understanding of the power and might of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and lack of knowledge is correct. Sister Samia, Tamina is correct. So Allah created Adam from clay and said kun. Okay. And it happened. What does kun means? Be. What does kun means? Be. And it happened. He does not need any children. He is above these weaknesses. Son of Adam. Now there is a hadith. Okay. Now you, when you finish writing, listen to the hadith very carefully. Uh, you know, for this ayah. There is a hadith. So there is a hadith. Prophet said that Adam has insulted. Uh, ins uh, okay. Uh, there is a hadith. Adam has no right to do so as for his, for his denial. He says that Allah cannot resurrect me. Uh, how does Adam, what does Adam do? He denies. How he denies and insults, insults Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? He says that Allah cannot resurrect me, that he created me the first time. But for Allah, creating second time is much easier. Okay. As for insulting, Allah says, Allah has a, he says, Allah has a child, whereas Allah is Al-Ahad. Lam yalid, walam yulad, walam yakul lahu kufuwan ahad. This is from Surah Al Ikhlas. So Allah is a samad. No one is like, like him. He does not beget, nor he begotten. He does not, you know, uh, beget, nor he is begotten. He has no child, nor he is the father. Uh, father. No one is like him. As uh, uh, he, uh, he, there is no partner to Allah. He is abusing and insulting Allah. Now, Try to understand this hadith again. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says there is a hadith that uh, there is no right that to do so. As the son of Adam curse me, abuse me. How? Uh, because he and belies me. The son of Adam curse me, abuse me, belies me. And son of Adam has no right to do so. As for his denial, he says that Allah cannot resurrect me, that he created me the first time. But for Allah, creating second time is not is much easier. As for insulting, uh, as for insulting Allah, He says Allah has a child. So telling that Allah has a child, or the angels are daughters, or uh, uh, and uh, you know Uzair ibn Allah, they, what they said that Uzair is the son of Adam, uh, son of Allah. So all this is what that they insult Allah Subhanahu wa Taala. Okay, this is insulting Allah. He says Allah has a child, whereas Allah is Allah had a samad lam yalid wa lam yalad wa lam yakul loko fanad. There is no one as uh, Allah, though there is no one like Allah. He doesn't begets or nor he is begotten. No one is like him. Um, um, Allah has no partners. He is uh, abusing and insulting Allah. So understand how the the people, uh, you know, insult and abuse Allah like this. Okay. Okay. You understood? Okay. So we move further now. So this ayah clear? Okay. Yes. So it shouldn't be said that Allah has a son. So they, you know, they, they were associating partners. They were doing shirk. And there is a, a hadith. The gist of the hadith is that Allah is, you know, all forgiving. You know, Allah always forgive when we repent. When we do toba, when we do istighfar, when we say, Astaghfirullah wa atubu Allah. Oh Allah, forgive me. I am repenting. Okay. And unto you I return. Okay, astaghfirullah wa atubu ilayh. But Allah forgets, forgives everybody. But the person, Allah will never forgive the shirk. Allah says that my slave, if he meets me and he has done the sins equal to the uh, samawat and earth, equal to the land and the skies. Okay, how much? Equal to the skies and the earth. Can you count the skies and earth, the length and breadth and... You know, uh, you can't count. So this is so huge, right? So if my slave meets me 
equal to the sins equal to the length and breadth of skies and uh, earth i will forgive him or her if she repents or he repents and do istighfar so you always have to do tauba you always have to do istighfar okay astaghfirullah wa atubu ilayh so allah will forgive but what does you know tauba means what does saying sorry means what does saying istighfar and tauba and repenting means that i oh allah i am not going to do it again and you should repent you should feel you know uh, this sin in your heart you should be you know shy you should have a shyness you should have haya and from your heart you say that allah forgive me i won't do this sin if i am disobedient to my parents if i have harmed somebody if i have been aggressive on somebody and if i have you know uh, not obeyed your command you know all these things any sins okay so what you have to do you always always have to repent and as i told you and prophet says some the sahaba says sahaba followed and obeyed and listened and you know learn from prophet says some right and they tried to do everything every possible things according to the sunnah whatever they saw and learn from prophet says some from quran and quran and sunnah ibn abbas ibn abbas is the cousin of prophet says some he is from the paternal side you know he is the son of his uncle so ibn abbas has learned a lot from prophet sallam and he is the explainer of the quran the mufassir of quran you know ibn abbas so ibn abbas say you know used to follow prophet sallam such a lot that he used to keep the upper button of his shirt open while addressing the giving the khutba while addressing the people while giving the juma khutba or delivering the lecture because once he saw the button of prophet sallam was open the first button so he used to follow so much the sunna okay and you know nowadays allah there is another inter- hadith the interpretation of the meaning the gist of the meanings a time will come people will not follow sunna their acts and deeds won't be according to the sunna like we see you know sitting on the ground sitting on the earth and eating you know placing a mat eating mat or a safra or something and eating sitting down and eating is also a sunna and there is a barka in it okay but now we see all table all people sit on table and chairs okay and cleaning the play plate like you have washed it and literally is also sunna because you never know in which you know morsel is barka in which you know grain is a barka even a dot of a grain a rice or a pulse or anything or the bit of a roti chapati you know bread there is a barka you know but nowadays what happen we don't clean the plate when you go to the parties they waste literally the the food right you see the how the food is wasted even at home also some children they don't wipe the plate and don't clean the plate so you know actually the the risk the sustenance this provision also do zikr of allah subhanahu wa taala every object every creation of allah subhanahu wa taala they do remembrance of the allah they do zikr and you know there is a dalil of it the ones uh, uh, abu bakr siddiq umar radhiyallahu anhu uh, usman radhiyallahu anhu they all were sitting in the gathering of prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam and they say that prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam made us listen the zikr from this you know grains and from this rice and from the risk which they ate they started doing the zikr and remembrance of allah subhanahu wa taala right and when uh, what happened that uh, uh, when prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam uh, left that place that risk that you know that the risk sustenance that grains and whatever they were eating that that food also stop the zikr of allah subhanahu wa taala so we don't know in which morsel in which grain you know in which piece of bit of risk which we are eating the meal there is a baraka and what is baraka means something in abundance something is more okay so try to eat everything and i have seen literally my parents my mother my khala my aunts my grandmother what they used to do whenever something fall down they pick it up and they clean it and they we, they used to eat and there is another hadith about the risk that uh, uh, the, the gist of the hadith it is said in the riwaya prophet sallam said that whenever something is fell down why whatever whatever you were eating on the floor just pick it up and clean it up and don't leave it for satan because satan eats it and whenever you don't say bismillah while before eating you know before start eating your meal or anything dinner or lunch or your uh, anything brunch then satan that me that food is for satan he satan joins you 
सो ऑलवेज से बिसमिल्ला ठीक है एट लीस्ट नॉट बिसमिल्ला रमानी रहे बिसमिल्ला एंड बिफोर वुदू ऑल्सो से बिसमिल्ला नॉट द फुल बिसमिल्ला रमानी रहे फॉर फूड यू कैन से बिसमिल्ला रमानी एंड प्रोफेसर असम सैद वैन एवर यू चेंज योर क्लोथ से बिसमिल्ला बिकॉज दीज सेटन एंड जींस दे सी यू फ्राम वे यू कैन नॉट सी दैम सो टू हैव अ हिजाब बिटवीन दैम एंड यू से बिसमिल्ला बिफोर चेंजिंग द क्लोथ्स ओके बट वे वंस यू हैव टेकन ऑफ यू डोंट से बिसमिल्ला और इन द बाथरूम ऑल्सो बिकॉज यू आर यू नो लेटिंग द इंजेस टू कम एंड राइट फॉर यू एंड दिस इज़ वेरी यू नो समथिंग नॉट गुड वैन यू आर नॉट इन द क्लोथ एंड यू आर यू नो इन्वाइटिंग दैम टू कम सो इन द बाथरूम वी आर नॉट अलाउड टू से जस्ट ओपन बिफोर ओपनिंग द बाथरूम द नॉब ऑफ द बाथरूम द हैंडल इज इन योर हैंड से आओ अल्लाह मनी अल्लाह इन्नी आओ जुबिका मिलो खबूसी वल खबा था ओके एंड देन वैन यू कम आउट से गुफरान अलहमदिल्लादी अजबान अजा वाफ़ानी ऑल ग्लोरी एंड प्रेज टू अल्लाह हु से मी फ्राम द दिस डिफिकल्टी बिकॉज इट्स अ टाइप ऑफ यू नो डिफिकल्ट राइट योर कॉल ऑफ नेचर यू फील समथिंग अन ईजी इट्स नॉट पेन इट्स नॉट मोर डिफिकल्ट अल्लाह मेड इट वेरी ईजी फॉर अस बट अल्लाह से इस अजन इस इस समथिंग यू नो डिफिकल्ट फॉर यू सो सो अलहमदिल्लाजी ऑल प्रेज इज एंड ग्लोरी टू अल्लाह हु हैज़ यू नो गिव मी रिलीफ फ्राम दिस कॉल ऑफ नेचर एंड एंड टू हिम वी रिटर्न एंड आई हैव टू गो बैक टू अल्लाह सुबह तला एंड गुफरानक और अल्लाह फगीम मी ओके फगीम मी वाई फगीम मी बिकॉज प्रोफेसर असम वॉज ऑलवेज इन द स्टेट ऑफ रिमेम्बरेंस ऑफ अल्लाह एंड जिक्र ऑफ अल्लाह बट वैन ही वॉज इन द बाथरूम वैन वी आर इन द बाथरूम वी आर स्टॉप फ्राम द रिमेम्बरेंस ऑफ अल्लाह सो फॉर दैट फगीम मी एंड वी वी डोंट रियलाइज वॉट इज गुफरानक फगीम मी फॉर वॉट because i was not in the state of zikr so then when come out you say okay and whenever you enter the house then also so bismillah arrahman arrahim and say assalamu alaina when the house is empty you say assalamu alaina wa ala ibadillahi salihin okay that uh, i i say i peace to those who who the those uh, slaves of allah who are salihin who are the pious one who are the, because you don't know Angels are there. The jinns are there. The good jinns are bad and good. Both two types of jinns. Though uh, they are now on the oceans. When Allah created uh, you know, Adam alayhi salam and Allah created the mankind, then they were sent. First, they were in the uh, in the land, on this earth, on this this planet or this planet. So Allah sent them to ocean. But they come. They are here. They some they come. You know, in a dunya also. And uh, there is another riwaya. Oh many, so many riwayas are there. There's another riwaya. The gist of the meaning is: see, whenever the hadith is not in front of you, say you say the gist of the meaning because you, I'm not saying quote unquote. That Prophet Sallam said that don't uh, take the bone, take the flesh, eat the flesh of the from the bones, chicken bones, meat bones. Eat the flesh and don't eat the don't take the bones in the mouth because the left of our bones. Who eats the jinns? The it is the diet of the jinns. and prophet asan prophet uh, you know prom- promise them that allah will put the flesh on it and you will eat it so always you know people they you know they take into the mouth and enjoy the this thing they chew you know and take the juice of it and enjoy you know i've seen the bones even my father you know like used to uh, like the bones so never you know suck the bones because bones are the diet the food of whom the jinn so there is a riwaya prophet asan said leave the bones for your brothers because the pious ones are our brothers okay never be scared of the jinns because we are the superficial mankind the human beings are superficial because allah has we have we have got the priority over them because allah subhanahu wa taala ordered angels to prostrate adam alayhi salam due to his knowledge so we are the super creation of allah subhanahu wa taala we have we are not like you know animals goat sheep how they walk to with limbs and foot you know with hand and feet with limbs and hands you know they walk but we are upright beautiful ahsan taqwim allah subhanahu wa taala says that mankind is has allah has created ahsan taqwim best of the best we are so we shouldn't be scared of anybody you know my daughter says she's a doctor and a friend is also a doctor so she, the that girl is you know arab arab saudi so they were you know studying together and working together so she said to my daughter that uh, i you know everybody when the students 
of medical science or any any student you have to you know uh, study a lot and you study at nights also so that girl was sitting in the in her room and while studying and somebody says her name was rama 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 she understood my whole house is sleeping my whole family is sleeping it can be some other creation so she said if i'm shouting and if i'm getting scared see her iman i'm getting scared and this is my daily routine whom i would call daily daily nobody would come my parents is sleeping my brother sisters are sleeping or my children or my you know, husband everybody is sleeping she said i control myself i had a great iman in, in allah subhanahu wa taala and i said when allah asked commanded the uh, everybody the angels to prostrate uh, uh, adam alaihi salam and the jinn was also satan was also with them so he didn't pros- also he would have pray- prostrated he didn't prostrate and allah said asana taqim i have created the men in asana taqim the best of the best so why should i and i am you know um the super from all the human mankind being a human being so why should i be scared so she controlled herself and from the next day she never heard that voice so we shouldn't be scared because allah is with us just say auzu billahi minash shaitanir rajim hai na and there are many many duas in wayak anastain when you feel something you know uh, so you should make those duas there is a page and there is an index also when for jinna for jins and for shayatin there otherwise if you don't remember if you don't, don't have the wayak anastain near try to memorize those duas okay say auzu billahi minash shaitanir rajim auzu billahi samir alim minash shaitanir rajim min hamd ya ٹریبیوٹس the duas are accepted and uh, from nafqi wa nafsi that from his whispers from his waswasa because he is khannas because he whispers in your hearts from his you know from his spit from his whispering uh, from his sounds from everything okay so this is the, i'll send on the whatsapp this thing and uh, and when, when you open the door with the name of allah and you say السلام علينا وعلى عباد الله الصالحين اللهم اني اسالك خير المولد وخير المخلد بسم الله ولجنا ولا الله ربنا توكلنا this is a dua of entering into the house and you say bismillah you say assalam alaikum so he said there is no place for me and he runs away and why we fight and you know brothers and sisters fight husband and wife fights your parents fight because we uh, don't say bismillah we don't recite quran we don't pray five obligatory prayers you know so so recite quran quran also uh, you know loudly when we recite surah al baqara also then also satan runs away okay she, uh, so not necessary that you recite the you recite you recite uh, uh oh, i'll start a meeting because it's away it, it's gone so it's not necessary that you recite uh, the whole uh, surah al baqara mm-hmm. hmm? it's not necessary but you know one page two page or as much as time you have and you one more thing you can do you can what you can do that uh, you can just play uh, the whole surah al baqara in the voice of any you know good qari any qari you like there are many many qaris you know so you can play the uh, uh, surah al baqara also okay now tell you what you understand can anybody tell me yes yeah tell me <laughs> can anybody tell me hmm? uh, yeah so yeah tell me by uh, 115 so that yeah. was like mushrik and then mm-hmm. it's mm-hmm. uh sh- in mushrik shuruq is done and it's the rise of of the mm-hmm. sun yes and then, uh, the loudly yes songs. loudly mm-hmm. and then from maghrib it's ghurub is done and then it's it's basically mm-hmm. it's like the masjid میں 
because uh, you know the that was dc that's for disconnected so i came again and gave you the link so meanwhile you know i said uh, that you know what they understood you like we share point at the end of oh, the okay. that's right so she's sharing the point okay uh, okay somebody else jazakallah khair it was all you know good and you know complete mashallah you anybody else want to share anything so many yeah yeah Say that Jesus is the son from Allah. Yes. Um, but they don't see the bigger picture. Like yeah. If Adam was created without a father, then yeah. Um, these eyes are showing us that Allah has all the power, so he should be able to create yes. Jesus without a father. Or Jesus and yes. a father as well. Yes. So when other religions associate partners or do it, shirk with Allah, yes. Like how um, Omar, I'm sorry. Huh? Uzair al Islam, Uzair ibn Allah, yes. Yes. Yeah, he's all knowing, and yeah, yeah, because this they didn't realize the might and power of Allah subhanahu wa taala and the knowledge of Allah subhanahu wa taala. So where is Allah? In in His throne. On His throne. Very good. Yes, sir. Yeah, on seventh heaven, and you know, where, and very amazing. We know, we we know that uh, the throne of Allah is on where the throne of Allah is on the arsh on the seventh heaven, and arsh. that is on water. There is a very big ocean over there, like the oceans of dunya, but we can't compare with the oceans of dunya. It's very amazing, and His throne is on the water, on the throne is on water. Anything else? Anyone want to say? And those who are on the uh, above the seventh heaven, those those angels can't come there because Jibril al Islam no. left uh, Prophet al Islam on the seventh so heaven. What he said that I can't go up. Then Prophet al Islam said, "Can a friend can leave a friend?" He said, "I can't go up because you know there is a light and nur and I will be burnt." You know, yeah. yeah there is a because the same thing happened with the uh, Musa al Islam. Musa al Islam said when uh, Prophet al Islam uh, Allah swt called. Musa al Islam on Mount Tur, he said, "Allah, I want to see you." You know, because he loved Allah, he he could hear Allah. He said, "Allah, I want to see you." Allah said, "You can't see me, but I would put my light on the Mount Tur, and if you can see that, the and if the mount is, you know, mount also stay, then you will be able to see me." That Allah put his tajalli is his nur on mount, and the mount was crushed, and he and Prophet and Musa al Islam laid unconscious. And we, when he got up, he said, "Oh Allah, you know, he did his tefar and said, 'Oh Allah, <laughs> I'm sorry.' So nobody can see Allah. But when we go to Jannah and our levels are the highest, I always say, 'Oh Allah, Allah my niyasa ka Jannah tulfi dosul Allah.' If our levels are highest, we'll be able to see Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala, the Didar, the Wajulla. Every time you are listening, you are reading Wajulla, Wajulla, face of Allah, face of Allah. So we will be, inshallah, among those you know the dwellers of Jannah who will be able to see Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala. So we will be able to see Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala. Pray that oh Allah make us from those who would be Amen. able to do your didar, who will be able to see Wajulla, who will be able to see you, uh, Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala. Make us from those. Okay. So Allah will make us from yes. those, inshallah, and yes. uh, and there again will be the levels. Some people would be able to see Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala whenever they like, and some people morning, evening, some people have the time. There will be grades and ranks and levels, and those who is, you know are the hafiz of the Quran, those who memorize Quran, and uh, there are those who are connected with Quran, always daily reciting Quran with serenity. They ponder the what to what translation. The, the, the hips, hips is correct. They understand the Quran. They do the tafsir, the explanation of Quran, and they act as all act are also according the Quran. Allah would say, you know, re recite Quran, recite Quran, and go up, go up, go up, go up, and when wherever he or she will stop, that will be the level of Jannah, Insha'Allah. You understand? So be connected with Quran, Quran, okay? And we are trying to finish our this thing very soon, our uh, uh, Surah Al-Baqarah. Any point anybody anybody has to say? Okay, one thing I want to know uh, from because on Zoom we are new. Uh, what's your name? Uh, Tamina, Tamina. Uh, because uh, I want to ask you that you uh, uh, how you got connected second time through the link I send you. Through the link. Through the link, second time, okay? Oh yes. Yeah. So yeah, it means yeah. it means always link is necessary, right? Yeah, but sometimes you can give the uh, number and I password also. 
yeah ID yes yeah yeah i saw it's there it's a number and password mm-hmm. is also there yeah you are correct yeah, yeah. number and password is also there you are correct you are correct both yeah. way you can get both it both way yeah i can do it both way yes you are correct you are correct both way we can get yes oh yeah okay anything else uh, tamina you want to say anything i want to say that you know wherever we face our you know wherever we put our face yeah. and everywhere is allah because his yeah. knowledge is around even yeah. though his arch is in seventh heaven yeah. he can see everything yes. and uh, sometimes the kafir says that you know allah has son and then astaghfirullah we you know because they don't know knowledge about it yeah they don't have knowledge they don't know the power yes. yeah they don't have any power about because yeah. he he's the creator of you know everything Yes. How come he gonna have a son? He doesn't need anybody's help. Yeah, he doesn't you know? need anybody's then, help. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Whatever he want to will, he can do. You know, create anything that was never exist. Yes. So, and uh, he has all power. Whenever he wants to, you know, happen something, he can say "kun" and it happened. He don't need any material. He does not need anything, any help. Yes, she's correct. Right. He has all power. Yeah, and yeah, she she explained us the meaning of "badi." when there was nothing yeah. allah created yeah. from nothing okay no, nothing yeah, existed yeah. so that is called badi yeah. okay so yeah. creating badi means creating the things from the beginning when there was nothing and if you say bida bida means what yeah fabricating innovation that yeah. was never been done before yeah though that which has and not been done professor by professor sam from sabit the saba yeah, so nobody did it yeah. and you know people fabricated that is lies and you yeah. know the punishment yeah. of the one who fabricates prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam will be yeah. giving Talala. water and yes the, uh, from hawde kosar prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam has hawde kosar and which sura tell us about hawde kosar bismillah inna to inna kal kausar yeah inna to inna kausar surah al kausar jazakallah yeah. so yeah. he will be yeah. may uh, people will be drinking water with the hands of prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam the umma yeah. the umma yeah. prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam like we muslim and you know a group of people will come and allah subhanahu wa taala say will say, say stop the water the water will be stop you know they won't be allowed to yeah. drink the water and prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam say oh allah these are my sahabati my people my umma my umma allah would say you don't know when you died they invented allah. new things new things from themselves in the deen in the quran whereas in quran allah says al yawm akmaltu lakum deenakum wa atmamtu ni'mati i have come perfected my deen for you today and i have i, I like the, the deen islam for you so it means mm-hmm. that we we don't need anything deen is complete mm-hmm. from quran and sunnah yes. we have to follow we are no one to you know invent something so they will be stop so allah would say that they have fabricated new new things in the deen mm-hmm. so we, which is why they won't be able to drink the water from the hands of prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam they will be mm-hmm. so if you, once so. you don't we are once nauzu billah nauzu billah astaghfirullah the one those who are okay. not allowed to drink water how can they will pass the other you things like pull sara the, the bridge of pull and the balance and the mizan and other uh, uh, the many other things right so may allah save us yeah. from bida also yeah. anything else you all want to say then we should would conclude anything else see the um, notes yeah i want to add something yes like you said kullu lahu kanitun right yes that means everything is constantly obedient of allah and they are doing zikr of allah and you mentioned that even the grain of the rice is also you know having the zikr we we never knew or we never think about it like yes. we know that everything in the heaven and the sky is doing zikr but a grain who has no life but still doing the zikr of allah it was like amazing it's amazing that even the rice the grain the rice you know yeah. and that is we have the dalil But all the you know uh, Ibrahim yeah, uh, Abu Bakr Siddiq Umar radiallahu anhu and uh, who I said uh, Umar Abu Bakr and Uthman radiallahu anhu they could hear uh, Prophet Sallam make them hear the zikr of and other sahabas also and one more thing uh, mm-hmm. one more thing uh, Prophet Sallam had a pulpit a tree a tree uh, at near the tree Prophet Sallam used to deliver the khutbah oh, yeah. the lectures. Yeah, and yeah. you know one of the sahabia one of the lady sahabia said Prophet Sallam that my Uh, my son is a carpenter my son is a carpenter and i would make a member you know a pulpit for you professor mm-hmm. said yes go ahead make it and that pulpit was brought and a professor mm-hmm. led that left that tree you know and he started you know delivering the lecture the khutbah on that pulpit right the that tree that small tree started weeping like a child weeps then professor sam put his hand you know on that tree embrace that tree and it stopped weeping and crying and professor sam said and all the you know everybody knew that their prophet sallam is going to come even prophet sallam said i love 
uh, Mount Ohad, where the fight was done, the Battle of Ohad, and uh, and, uh, uh, and no, Mount Ohad love me, and I love Mount Ohad. And when Prophet Sallam was a child, that you know, and when he grew up also, stones of Makkah, the some few of the stones say Assalamu Alaikum to Prophet Sallam. And Azad Ali Karamullah was a witness. Azad Ali Karamullah again his cousin and his son-in-law. He was married to uh, Fatima Radhiyallahu Fatima Anha, Radhiyallahu. Uh, her daughter, Prophet Sallam's daughter. He said, I could uh, hear when I was with Prophet Sallam that the Hajar, the stone in Makkah, uh, used to say Tahiyya, Assalamu Alaikum to Prophet Sallam. Allah. Okay. Even the jinns knew. Even uh, the everybody knew the Yahud, the Nasara, everybody knew it was in their Quran. The jinns also knew that. Okay. Even the animals knew. Once a shepherd, <laughs> no, I'll tell you. Once a shepherd, you know, had a, these goats and sheep, you know. He was with the herd of our sheep and goats. So uh, a, a, one a big animal, a wolf or something, he took hold of a, one of uh, his sheep, one of his goats, and then the shepherd went to, you know, take from that animal, that uh, goat, that sheep. So in Urdu, it is called bhedia, bhedia. So that sheep said, that uh, wolf that he said, when Allah has given me the risk, that bhedia, Allah has given me the risk, why, you, who are you to take the risk from me? And he was sitting, that animal was sitting on, on its tail. Okay. Then, you know, that uh, that shepherd went to Prophet No. Salam. Then that, that shepherd said, oh, you being an animal, you sitting on the tail and uh, talking? Can an animal talk? That animal said, that I even will tell you that Prophet Sallallahu is telling about the books of Yahud and Nasara, about the previous Ummah, about the previous nations. He, you know, witnessed that Prophet Sallallahu has come. So that shepherd went to Prophet Sallallahu and he said that one of the animals took my took hold of my goat and, you know, he says that why you are stopping me from the risk which Allah has provided me and I was amazed to that that animal said what is it said that I will tell you the Prophet Sassam is telling about the other books Salam. and about the nations. So Prophet Sassam gave a khutbah and told that man, tell the people what you read that, what that animal told you. Subhanallah. So trees, the trees and everybody, you know, everybody know he is the Prophet of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The non-living thing, you know, these things, the uh, which trees and stones, they recognized, but these things, they had the name of Prophet Sassam in the books, the signs were in the books. The you know they knew the, the place they also they dealt with the palm trees like Medina, but they didn't you know obey it and you know uh, accept Islam. They didn't say Shahada. Many of them said even Abdullah bin Salam he was a Yahudi scholar. He you know he just asked three questions to so Allah Subhanahu the Prophet Sallam and he said only a prophet can reply those questions. Okay, and Prophet Sallam answered those questions and he say, said La 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 he took the Shahada. And he believed in Allah SWT. So may Allah may, may, shouldn't make us from the Amen. bidati, those who those bid, bida, and as, uh, from shirk and everything. Barakallahu fi ilmik wa amalik. May Allah increase you all in your knowledge Amen. and in your in your in your Amen. amal also, in your good deeds also. Let's Amen. listen to the and may Allah accept from us. Rabbana taqabal minna inna ka anta sabiul alim wa tubalaina inna ka anta tawabu rahim. Now listen to the recitation and we will conclude our this thing. And we are happy and we are thankful to God. Say the thankfulness of dua of the shukrana. Subhanallahi wa bihamdi adada khalki wa da nafsi wa zinata arshi wa madada kalimati. Thanks to Allah and technology that you are with us on the Zoom. Although I given this link to many people, they were busy and shah. Okay. Allahumma balighna Ramadan Allahumma balighna Ramadan Wa wafiqna fihi lissiyami wal qiyam Wa jalna fihi min utaqaika min anna برحمتك يا أرحم الراحمين. Look to Ayah 115 and
السلام علیکم و رحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ سی یو ان شاء اللہ نیکسٹ ویک